Welcome back, one and all, to Red Dead Redemption 2. I am the Dark Seraph, and last time I got in me a nifty new rifle. Awesome. Yep. Now that I'm going to go take it to the gunsmith... And see about having a scope put on. Yeah. This is gonna replace my Springfield breech loader. On you. Chain gang! Shame. Couldn't save him. That was a neat interaction. Dressed up like that. I've seen some sick perversions in my time. This one might take the prize. No, 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 wait, please. You've got to help me. It's that crazy gunsmith. He made me dress up like this. He's got me chained to the goddamn foot. Okay. You gotta do something, please. He's never gonna let me go. Okay. Please, you gotta get me out of here. I'll try. Back again? 
Happy to have you. Been a mite suspicious about the new faces in town. Rhodes is welcoming, to be sure, but we can't just let all types have their way. Improve the rifling. Iron sights. Really won't matter anything because I'm gonna be getting a medium scope on this. Again, that's purely cosmetic, so that's fine. Thank you for your help. Much as I hate this, I want to see what's in that basement of yours. Show me. Right now. Nothing to no worse down there, I swear. Well, why don't I be the judge of that? Open it now! All right, all right! I ain't got nothing to hide. I've got my boy sleeping down there. It's such a shame to you wake know, him. You know, you can always come back after he wakes up. Come on, buddy. Keep moving. You should stay away from me. You know what I tell you about talking to your pa that way? Oh, oh thank God. He can't see all of it. Why are you wearing that sailor suit? That crazy maniac put me in it. He thinks I'm his kid's son. Kidnapped me, he did. Do I look like a kid? <laughs> Always in such a rush to grow up these days, aren't they? Don't shoot me, please. Just, just leave us be. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot you. Hurry, get these shackles off me, please. What are you waiting for, please? No, the chains! Shoot the chains! Oh! Oh, thank you! That sick son of a bitch kidnapped me, made me pretend to be his son. You're oh, welcome, you man. Please, mister. Get running, kid. Now, I wonder what kind of bounty I can get for this. I saved a kid from a pedophilic piece of shit. Problem is, I lost the gunsmith. He just dis he just disappeared into the ether. Okay. Money to be made on the new railroad. But now there ain't a gunsmith. Six to twelve. Can I rob this place? Right. 
mean, come on, this guy deserves it. He kept a kid chained to the fucking... He kept a, ch a kid chained up in here, for God's sake. I can't open the gun cabinet, though. Shame. Okay. Oh, I can play some blackjack? Yeah, I know I play blackjack. I'll play blackjack later. Let's go help out lover boy. I'm on official business for the family. All right, come on. Back behind the woodshed. There you are. You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah. Uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. My God. What a woman. She's... This'll get her killed, for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They'd bring back the monarchy, given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mr. You gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. Gotta save your girlfriend. Follow me to Rhodes. Come on! Come on! Yeah! 
We'll go around the property and take the road to town. Fun fact, in Texas, women had the right to vote, own land, and hold public office, as did blacks. They had the right to vote, own land, and hold public Easy, office. Easy, boy. Calm down. In Texas. I can't be calm. If we don't get there in time, my true love may be shot. If she wants to rally, you gotta let her rally. Well, good as the cause is, I can't let her become a martyr to it. I, I want to marry a flesh and blood woman. Not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. There! There they are! Bo, what are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed! I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please! Do what? Fight this mob. We must begin. They need me alive. <laughs> this is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. That's Mostly true. My family. <laughs> Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Hooray! Sure. Miss Calhoun. Miss Calhoun. My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun. Normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you feel right at home. Shall we go? <clears throat> All right, ladies. We know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty reign. <laughs> We're mothers, wives, housekeepers, and daughters. We cook the food and we fetch the water. Sing now, songs now. Of freedom and glory. Take us down Main Street, right through Every town to the steps of the Becker Road, Mr. Me. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. You Very idiot. Good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick, and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. Very good. Very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? I'm just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. <laughs> I hope it won't. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Stay on Main Street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe you might be right. Good day, Sheriff. I trust you'll make sure it's a peaceful assembly. Oh, do give it a rest, you sorry fool. Mr. Morgan, I give you the mail of the species. Yeah, that's a pretty dumb specimen, I grant it. <laughs> no further, please. Stop just past the bank. Those are the steps, Mr. Morgan. Stop in front there, and then all you need to do is listen. Ladies, get down! Come on, boys. Come on. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, shut your mouth! What are you doing? The hell is going on? Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. this is a great day for all of us. Yeah. Oh. For today is the day we begin to live as equals. equals. Oh. Yes, equal, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Yeah. You wouldn't make it in Texas, buddy. Equal and free, just as the founding fathers intended. Oh, mm. It was. Founding fathers, oh. not founding mothers, you hey, silly old goat. Yeah. I point you, I point you to Annie Oakley. Hey. I dare you to go the piss you her off. Here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. 
What are you doing here? Listening, I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. And stop them from ruining the speech. You need to learn yourself some manners, cousin. Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, you always was. Bo, little... weren't we just leaving? Well, who the hell is this? Follow me. What? You'll hit me? Come on. Can you not see how idiotic you are? Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. We are home. We gotta go before they think twice. Oh, Lord. And follow me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. You don't want to go back and hear the speeches? I ain't voted before, but kind of getting hot for voting rights. <laughs> I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me... <sighs> everyone knows about Penelope and you. I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all of ten minutes. The sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She weren't right, you know, and Penelope said... Uh, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. Mm hmm. Go on. This is awful. Nobody died. Ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My I brothers noticed. are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. It. They started it. I know, but you should leave. I will. As soon as I have enough money. When my family, we have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes. Well, I believe so, but uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a Artistic temperament, so... Well, is that what they call it? <laughs> yes. Oh, you made a joke. Mm -hmm. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Oh, here. Your payment. Thank you. Excuse me. That was it? Yes. Now steal your family's pocketbook and head up to Valentine. Go to Strawberry. Take her somewhere nice, man. Quit being a fucking coward. That's all I got to say on this. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Red Dead Redemption 2 as I go talk to whoever else is left to do work for. And probably get run out of roads in the process. I did rob Cornwall again, so that just that, that, that's that's a disaster waiting to happen. I just know it. I'm the Dark Seraph signing off.